G'day, g'day, I'm Dave Downey. You know, often when you buy a new boat, you don't give much consideration to the trailer, but it's probably one of the most important parts of the whole package. I looked around for a long time and ended up choosing an FMS trailer. Let me show you why. I opted for stainless steel brakes. Let's go back to the factory and I will explain the advantages of them. As you can see by the, the calipers, um, you know, extremely good quality. Uh, there's, there's really not much can beat these. Uh, for a start, the, the whole caliper is uh, stainless steel. The pistons are a composite piston, so it's like a Bakelite. N no, no seizures. Uh, pins and bushes all stainless and bronze. So yes, mate, it's uh, yeah, very, very good quality and 10 years trouble free guaranteed as far as I'm concerned. Well, the other thing that goes along with the stainless steel calipers is a stainless steel uh, disc rotor. Um, you don't get any rust on your wheels. Uh, your disc pads last. If you know you've got galvanised or, or cast iron uh, rotors, then in a very short time the rotor rusts. Uh, then it uh, creates excessive wear on your pads. So uh, stainless steel, no rust, no uh, no uh, rust on your wheels, and perfectly clean system. So uh, just the quality to go with the with the calipers as well. There's a couple of really important characteristics. The brake lever actually folds over. Now, if you've got a tailgate that drops down, how good is that? Dave, this is your conventional override braking system with mechanical brakes. Uh, pretty typical of the type of handle and, and, and override uh, mechanism you get. Um, on the trailers that we build with the hydraulic braking system, you can see the handle actually comes uh, mounted on the back of this, the, the coupling with, a, with your master cylinder on there. The beauty of these handles is you can slip the, the, the top off, the handle folds down and you can get your back door of your, your vehicle open without wiping the handle off. So, uh, mate, once again, just a, a slight difference in, in, the, in the small things that we do for these trailers. Another thing I like is the attention to detail. A nice little holder here for your plug so you don't run over it or squash it. And also a place here to hold your chains up out of the road as well when you're not connecting to the car. When I ordered my trailer, I asked Ivan to make it beach capable. That means it sits a little bit higher up the road, but it's capable of doing a little bit more rugged country. Fraser Island, for example. This is an extended draw bar. This allows me to get an extra three or four metres out if I'm launching on the beach. A great addition. It sucks nicely out of the road on the side of the trailer here, but it's very easy to put in place. It only takes a few seconds. FMS trailers insist on good quality winches. This has got double handles and all the shafts are nylon bush. It's also got pins so you can easily just remove the handle like that if you don't want to leave it on the boat. And he insists on this high quality rope which is stronger than steel and you don't get splinters in your hands. And there's nothing worse than flimsy guards. I'm 100 odd kilos and I couldn't bend that. Check a plate top so you don't slip. Each of the guards are gusseted back to the main frame. You just don't get that sort of quality on a stock standard trailer. And back here, another nice inclusion, non-skid steps so you can step up onto the trailer. Now I opted for these Dura hubs. The ones I like have got a glass window in the front so you can actually see if there's water in there. Another handy item, Dave, we offer as an option uh, on our trailers are the, are the new Dura hubs. Made a lot of people in the past had problems with these, um, with the ingress of water and uh, actually leaking oil. So the seal on the back of the hub a lot of people when they fitted them had problems with uh, the seal leaking but we decided that this uh, this component is still very valuable with the glass window inside it so we use your standard Dura hub with, uh, with grease and that gives you the added benefit of seeing inside the window see if there's any moisture in there you can see droplets of water in the window or the discoloration of the grease if there's an ingress of water so uh, these are a very handy tool rather than just your standard hub cap or even um, the bearing buddies. With a bearing buddy you can't actually see whether there's any water in there, whereas with these little babies uh, you can. So yeah, great, great, great item. And at the business end underneath here, all quality. Heavy duty rubberized rollers with nylon bushes through the centre there, the best you could get. Dave, the rollers that are on your trailer are these um, wide boss and nylon uh, rollers. As you can see, the boss that goes on the spindle is nice and wide and solid. Uh, if you compare that to a lot of uh, the type of roller that most people use in their boat trailers, it's just a plastic centre. You can see how the, the centre is already starting to wear. It's just, that's all it is, just a centre plastic. There's no bush in there at all. So obviously, once again, the quality difference in the type of component we use. Guards around LED lights, waterproof totally. You can duck them underneath the surface and lots of rollers all the way through underneath the boat. And every one of these cross pieces is braced back to the main frame. Have a look at this. This is where a lot of the stress is on a trailer, the drawbar area, a strong back to give you extra strength. And the spare wheel comes 
on a bracket with the bearing and everything. So if you get a flat tire or a stuffed bearing, straight onto the trailer, one nut. Fantastic. Yeah, if you miss trailers, we not only do uh, boat trailers, we're into the Pentec type uh, bodies. So once again, three uh, good quality uh, trailers from Pentec through to your normal uh, 6x4 trailer, uh, 7x5, right the whole range through. We do car trailers, we do all sorts, you name it, we custom built a lot. Now I did that deliberately so that you could see that even though we hit it a bit side on, the boat still centres itself. That's what a well designed trailer should do. This trailer is specifically designed as a drive on trailer by FMS trailers. You just can't get it wrong. A bit of wind, you get pushed sideways or you don't line it up quite right, it doesn't matter. With an FMS trailer, you always get it right.